Hey, how are you all doing today? This is Harrison or Steam's AUS and today what I'm going to be showing you all how to do is how to create glowing animation videos. And on Instagram, I've posted a couple of these and every time I upload one of these, I get a lot of comments on how did I make this? Was there a specific app to make this? And so I thought I'd just make this video, clear it all up how I make this. And so it's not exactly easy, nor is it hard. It's more of a matter of just learning all the steps and then once you do that, putting it all together. It may take a little bit of practice, but with that practice, I promise you will get there. And I'll put a little video on the screen right now of what it looks like. So that's a little take on my style of how I do it. You could change it up depending on how you want the glow to look, but we'll get into that once I'm explaining the whole tutorial. And that's pretty much now, so let's get into it. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna open up Adobe After Effects and you wanna click New Composition. And so you don't have to rename your composition at all. It depends if you want to maybe. So what you want to do is just set your preset. I like to use HDTV 1080 29.97 frames. That's pretty much the standard sort of thing. And then duration, if your clip is over a minute, maybe just change the duration to however long your clip is. But in this case, that's fine for me. So then you can just click OK. And now you're brought to the composition here. Maybe just put it to fit to 100%. And then now you want to go to file and you want to go to import file and then you want to come down to the clip you're using. So for this one, I'm just using this clip here and you see it's over here. And so what you want to do is you just want to click, drag and drop it down. And now you'll see that it's over here. And so now what you want to do is, as you can see, I'm just dragging around my clip. So. I could start editing maybe around here just for the sake of the video. So now what you want to do is you want to double click this and then by double clicking on your video, it'll take you to the layer tab. And this is where you can start to draw and edit your clip. So you want to go over and click the brush tool. So you can just click control B. And now what you want to do is you want to change your duration over here. So you don't want it on constant. If it's on constant, change it to single frame. Otherwise, it will just stay on the screen and that's not what you want. You want a different animation for each frame. And then over here, you can choose your color. I just like to keep it on a seven for brush stroke. You can change it however you like. And so we can pretty much start editing now. So you wanna just grab the hand tool over here drag down and then you can scroll to zoom in or I don't believe you can press control plus not in After Effects. And then what you wanna do now is go back and click your brush tool. And now you can pretty much just start drawing just like this. And so I'm probably, for this tutorial, I'll probably do a second worth. So that's about 30 frames. And then once I do that, I'll just show you how to get the glow up. Okay, so now I've finished my base animation. So it'll look something like that. That's just 30 frames right there. One more time. And so now that we've done that, what we want to do is we want to go over here to video. So make sure your animation is totally complete. 
So go over here to the source and then you want to duplicate it. So that's control C, control V. And on a Mac, I believe it's command Z, command V. And so we want to open up this, go to the effects. And then we want to turn off the paint layer because we just want the regular. So just the second clip is a regular raw clip. And then for this one, what we want to do is we want to open it up, open the little arrow, go to effects, open the paint layer, click paint on transparent. And so that's going to keep it on a transparent layer. So if we solo that, as we can see, there we are. And then if you click the transparency grid, you can see that you have a 100% good animation that's going to be fine once you apply all the effects. So now what we want to do is we want to turn off the transparency grid. You can unsolo that. And so we can go over to the effects and presets or you can go over here to the effect and then you go over to stylize and you can add a glow. And as you can see, the glow is already popping up here. So what I generally do is I just turn down my glow threshold and I'll up the glow radius and I can upload the, so change the intensity a little. And so this is on a, so glow threshold zero, glow radius 40 and glow intensity on a 30. And so now that we've done this, it may be a little bit slower to load up just because it's a lot more resource dependent. But as you can see, there is the glow. And that is 100% good now, but you can even do more. You can go back, you can add another glow. You can play around with that. It will make it really intense. Sometimes it's yuck, sometimes it's good. It just depends. And you can just still play around with all of this, you know, just you can change your threshold to whatever you want, really. Sometimes it just, doesn't look good just play around and find what you like so i just keep it though at generally something like this so there's just a glow going on and if i can zoom it in you can see we've got glow and so now what we can do is we can go down to effect matte simple choker and then here what you can do is you can increase the size of your strokes and that can sometimes increase the intensity of the glow so i like to do that and then you can go over to the effect stylize brush strokes and then by doing this you can go to the brush size and it will sort of change things up as you can see there's a little bit of a a more sort of rough edge to it and then if we fit that to 100 it'll probably be fairly slow just because of all the effects so just give it a little bit of time even on a good computer it's just what happens so that's sort of what it will look like in a very slow way but if i get rid of the brush strokes that's a bit better but it's not amazing yeah there we go so that's an example of how the glow will look. And that's pretty much everything done now. So now what we can do is we can go to file and then to export. You can export it to the Adobe Media Encoder Q. That's a separate thing you'll have to download. And that pretty much will just render your video and shrink down the file size, which is really good because if you just do a regular render such as here, which is just standard, what will happen is you can render it. Just make sure you go to output there and then just go to wherever you want to render it. For example, here, just save it. And then you want to click render. So this little bar here, I believe it's a blue that it's yeah, it's in blue. So that will just go from left to right. And once it's done, that's all good. You can go in. But the thing is, when you render it this way, you'll probably have a very large file size, but that's okay. You can go and fix that up. Example with a handbrake over here. So give that a second just to load up. And here we are. So this is really good. All you got to do, I'll just example video. I'll drag that in here. And then this compresses the file size and then you can go to browse and 
So these videos can get up to like seven gigabytes, but by doing it with this, you can pretty much have the exact same quality, but it will render down to, in my case, I can get it to 16 megabytes, 28 megabytes, something like that. So you can really shrink down the file size and it helps a lot. So that's another external program that can really help you out. But that's the end of this video. I hope this does help you out. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like the video if this was good and useful to you. And if you wanna stay tuned for future videos, make sure to subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And that's all from me and I'll see you in the next video.